two and a half month we are continuously doing it for uh, the benefits of the students many of our faculty they are spending their valuable time on sundays they have prepared lot of topics and they have submitted to you hope you all benefited with the efforts of poi mmc and ipga for the selfless service with this service we are expecting many of the students has to get benefit out of this also our expectation is each and every member of this association as well as the students they have to spread this message to many of the students to get benefit out of this because now only we got the uh, information to submit the application we are expecting the exams will be by the end of march or april only so still you have sufficient time to prepare in a better way so even now if you put your all whole hearted efforts definitely you can succeed in gpet exam so with this today we have a two eminent speaker uh, to deliver the lecture uh, one is uh, dr s jayakumari and uh, another uh, speaker is our dr umarai so both the eminent speakers uh, they have more than 20 years of experience so definitely today it's going to be the uh, enriched knowledge and light to add your uh, valuable time so first of all before we go into the topic i request all the students if you have any doubts you can chat any time because we have a different groups in whatsapp also today also you can share your questions in the in the chat box also if you want to talk you can request we will allow you to talk so these are the options we are giving you and mainly we are expecting three things one if you have any doubt you can ask another if you want any specific topic to present in future that also you can mention also if you want to share your experience with the classes regular classes either you got these are the knowledges these are the experience that also you can share all three things we are expecting from you kindly cooperate with us because uh, feedback is the best mechanism to improve ourselves also to support you in a better way so these are the requests with this i uh, first our uh, speaker dr s jayakumari hod and professor of department of pharmacognosy wells college of pharmacy actually dr s jayakumari he, he graduated b pharm from madurai medical college in the year 92 to 90 82 to 87 and after that she completed at m pharm from kem college of pharmacy in the year 97 she did her uh, doctoral from wells college of pharmacy from uh, dr mgr madurai Me medical college in the year 2009 actually she has a uh, great uh, teaching experience more than 34 years she started her uh, career as a lecturer from kem college of pharmacy in the year 87 itself then now you can uh, understand her uh, rich experience also she has uh, 21 years of uh, research experience and uh, she guided more than 10 uh, research scholars also guided more than 50 research projects also especially for ug as well as pg levels with this uh, great experience uh, she has a research uh, area of studying bioactive compounds from traditionally useful medicinal plants and its formulation for inhibition of inflammatory markers enzymes and biomarkers cytokines in cellular levels with this uh, great experience she presented lot of papers in national and international seminars and she attended about more than 35 conferences and uh, seminar workshops in national and international level it uh, greatly shows her uh, potential and experience also she published more than 75 publications in uh, scopus index journals and published two chapters in bentham publications in the area of uh, phytochemistry so she has uh, two patent published received by act also uh, she attended a lot of workshops and she conducted also lot of uh, 
uh, funding programs and uh, she received a lifetime uh, achievement award uh, as well as uh, teaching and women empowerment award also even currently she is a very active member of uh, ipga tn and uh, she is holding a top position in women's forum every week uh, she is supporting for our gpet classes also even last year also she conducted many classes this year also she is spending lot of her valuable time on sundays especially for the benefits of the students even today also she is going to present her uh, valuable topic identification of crude drugs especially for the benefits of you if you have any doubts definitely you can ask her she, she is in a position to support you to score better with this small introduction i request dr s jack kumari uh, to present her uh, today's sir thank you sir thank you very much for your wonderful introduction uh, sir i am audible sir content sir yes madam you are audible yes sir yes, so yes, st students very good morning to all students and all the team members first of all before start my session i would like to thank the uh pa pharmacy alumni association mmc uh, and the team um, sinivasan sir saravanan sir vinayamurthy sir uma madam and uma mangeshwari madam and also our ipj team uh, excellent work for their uh, continuous con support uh, dr ide kannan sir meenakshi madam and president sir also and um, secretary and uh, dr kopal as a faculty coordinator also so i would like to thank all the students also for continuous support and attendance for them uh, actually we are conducting this type of program only for the benefit of students uh, when uh, rajaratnam sir secretary sir president sir for last ec meeting la sonanga naangala padikumbodhu engalukkala vandu pg or course irukengiradhe romba naalikku appra dhaan therinjathu adu padikano ngiradhu romba kashta pattom eppadi poradhu enna nu theriyala so engalude experience fast experience struggling ah dhaan naanga vandu adha panna koodadhu number of generation நம்மளுடைய பியூச்சர் பார்மசி கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் தான் இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணோம் ஸோ இது நல்லா கோர்ஸ் இவர் விநாயகமூர்த்தி சார் இவர் சரவணன் சார் சொன்ன மாதிரி நீங்க இன்னையில இருந்து கூட ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணலாம் அவங்களோட ப்ரிப்பரேஷனை இது வந்து எப்படி படிக்கணுங்கிறத ஒரு பிளான் பண்ணிட்டு படிச்சிட்டீங்கன்னா ஈஸியா படிச்சு கோல் அச்சீவ் பண்ணிடலாம் எப்படி படிக்கணும் இது சும்மா ஃபுல்லா படிச்சுட்டே இருந்தீங்கன்னா உங்களால அச்சீவ் பண்ண முடியாது எப்படி படிக்கணுங்கிறத நீங்க பிளான் பண்ணிக்கிட்டே நல்லா நோட்ஸ் மாதிரி ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணி படிக்கலாம் ஸோ தட் சால் ஃபார் யூ மை அட்வைஸ் now i started my uh, presentation today i am going to take only a basic one but still it is a very useful to you the topics today i selected is the identification of crude drugs a pharmacognostical approach so uh, today in this presentation i am going to uh, present at the what are the different types of uh, things types of crude drugs with example clearing and mounting techniques morphological microscopical characters powder microscopical study quantitative microscopy and identification of crude drugs by chemical test and a list of the synonym for various important crude drug medicinal importance of some important families okay so first of all first of all definition that uh, point already the last two to three class before uh, dr kirba madam uh, clearly given even though pharmacognosy is differ from other subject in other subject you are studying the study of the drugs synthetic drug or that it is a subject mainly dealing with the medicines or a drugs they are derived from natural sources whatever sources available by nature as per american society of pharmacognosy cognosy can be defined as the it is a study or it is a science of the physical chemical biochemical biological properties of drugs and drug substances or potential drugs or drug substances of natural origin as well as the search of the few new drug not only already existing drug any new drug or any new drug discovery from natural source that also comes under the crude uh, pharmacognosy so in each and every drug you have to study the uh, basic property chemical property biochemical property and its biological activity of the drug and drug related substance what is the meaning of that one what are the substances they are obtained from the uh, natural sources that is called a drug substances or potential drug or drug related substance from the natural source the term actually before 9, 18th century uh, it was called as a materia medica the term is not pharmacognosy after that uh, that uh, scientist settler who was the found out the word pharmacon and gignosco so it was derived from the two greek language pharmacon the meaning is a drug a crude drug uh, or a medicine anything uh, gignosco means a knowledge or a science or anything so based upon that greek word only after 18th Century only that subject was named as a pharmacognosy. 
So as per the pharmacognosy before going for that one, what is a crude drug? They are very, very important. What is a crude? The word crude means unpurified, un unprepared, a raw form. It is not a purified one. Since it is obtained from natural source, it is called a crude drug. So crude drugs are the drugs are they are medicines or they are substances. They are obtained from natural source. The natural source may be a different type. It may be a plant, animals, marine or minerals. These are the major four types. Uh, out of the four types, the plant constitute the major part next to the animal, next to marine. Finally, a trace amount of the drugs also obtained from mineral source also. So they are used as us, either they are used as such in the nature, uh, they are used as such in the, whatever they occur in the nature. The only process used for the collection of the crude drug is the drying. After drying, it should be powder. That is also a natural method. So the, both the drying and size reduction are subjected to naturally. That is why it is called a crude drug, unprepared, unpurified form, raw drug. That is why crude drugs are very easily adulterated with the some other substandard drug. So the crude drugs are, they are obtained by simple natural process, only by the process of drying method and size reduction. Uh, then why the drugs should be dried? That students must know. The crude drugs are, most of the drugs are used only in the dried condition. The reason, if, we see, if it is used as uh, in a fresh condition, what happened? There is a moisture will be there, water molecule will be there. It may degrade the whatever active medicament present in the crude drug. So to avoid that difficulty, the drug should be dried properly, either by natural method of drying. And after drying, we cannot uh, store the drug as such in a big uh, lumps or a big pieces. So it's subjected to size reduction. They are made into either coarse powder or made into a fine powder or a small piece then stored in the container. So and here I've given the table, the examples of different sources of crude drug. Uh, plant source. If you go to plant source, there are different type of uh, plant organs are there. These are some examples that you know very well. Mineral source. Some of the what is a mineral source? This is a min source which obtained from the uh, the um, rock material, minerals, or in the sea bed or river bed. Eh? Some natural deposition may be there. Naturally, it is deposited. Since it is naturally deposited, some inorganic salts are presented. That the inorganic salts have some. Uh, pharmaceutical values, some medicinal value, that is why they are considered as a medicine or a crude drug. Example, talc, chalk, bentonite, kieselgar, kaiolin, we can tell many. Then marine source, the marine, the word under, under the ocean or under the sea. Some of the, here the marine, which include both the plant as well as animal. So the example for plant obtained from animal source agar, the example of uh, animal, coliver oil, shark liver oil, like that. We have to tell many. Nowadays, the marine pharmacognosy plays a vital role because in most of the research nowadays going on in marine drugs, uh, because marines, the plant and animals are very good uh, potential uh, uh, source for the proteins, peptides, and amino acids. They are very good drug for the treatment of the life-threatening diseases like cancer and other uh, hypertension and other diseases also. Coming to the types of crude drugs with the example, there are two types of crude drugs we can see. That is a previous slide. It is a different sources of the crude drug. This is a, whatever may be the source, there are two types of the crude drug. Whether it is animal source or a plant source, we collectively called as there are two types of crude drugs. One is organized drug. Another one is unorganized drug. What is an organized drug? And the name itself, they are form a, a particular organ of the plant or animal drug. They have a well-defined organ. Either they obtain from flower or a root because you know what are the different organ of the plant, what are the different part of the animal. So they are obtained from particular organ of the animal or a plant. They are called organized drug. It has, since it form organ, what is an organ made up of tissue, made up of cells? So since it form organ of the plant or animal, it has a cellular character. Whereas in unorganized drug, the name itself, there is no organ. It does not form any definite organ. Uh, either organ of the animal or a plant, okay. Either they are obtained from the plant, they obtain from either plant or animal or from mineral, but how they are obtained? They are simply obtained by simple um, uh, physical process like, like uh, juice collected or extraction or just uh, latex, anything can be. So they are derived from plant or animal, but we cannot tell which particular organ it was formed. We cannot tell. So the entire plant can be used to just juicy part exudation. They are usually called as a plant exudation. Since it does not form any particular organ, they are called plant secretions or plant exudation or plant natural substance. They are does not have any well-defined cellular character. They have a well-defined cellular character. 
generally they are usually uh, organized drugs are identified by morphological microscopical character this can be since it does not have any cells or any specific organ any regular shape or regular size or regular form we cannot identify by morphological character or microscope then what are the other method by using organoleptic character sense organ test the color odor texture like that one physical solubility melting point like that one or by using chemical test method okay then coming to the examples uh, digitalis leaf for example you see leaf is organ bark is an organ stem is organ here we can see gelatin honey agar so we cannot tell which is the organ of the plant agar is a, a dried extract aqueous extract obtained from the gelidium species gelatin is a dried proteinous substance obtained from the skin and bone of the skin and dentin of the animal honey is a saccharine liquid obtained from the honey comb so these are the either animal or a plant secretions or exudation they can be obtained by simple physical process they are since it has a medicinal value they are comes under the uh, pharmacognosy under the name of unorganized drug so the same slide i given represented in the photography crude drugs are organized unorganized plant source animal source example for plant source these are the example of animal even organized drugs also some animals are used there. the whole animal is used so here what is the organ the whole organ is animal for example cochineal there is a small insect it is a very good coloring agent it is a usually it is a small only in millimeter size it is usually found in the it is a parasitic insect it usually found in the cactus opensia plant but since it has a very good coloring agent is a natural colorant it does not have any toxic property it is used then another one cantharides it is a small insect like a bee so the whole uh, insect can be used for isolation of oil fixed oil that oil is called cantharidin oil that oil have a very good anti inflammatory counter irritant property it also have a wear growth property so this is a two example of the animal the whole part of the animal is used as a crude drug whereas this is called as unorganized as already sold you uh, does not form any particular organ only plant secretion or animal secretions can be used example for plant source agar acacia starch if you see all these one there are many is that i given only simple small only if you see all these drug they are mostly unorganized drugs are occur either in the powder form or irregular pieces or irregular lumps if you take uh, acacia it is a pear shaped brown color or amber color irregular pieces agar is a powder white color starch is a white powder so they are obtained from the plant the whole plant or a particular organ of the plant but not to form any organ of the plant they are only a uh, leaf uh, extra leaf exudation or anything so they may be obtained by extraction process expression process or by evaporation process or by incision method like that only animal source example honey gelatin beeswax it is a waxy substance shark liver oil it is a liver oil obtained from the liver of the shark fish so these are the examples of unorganized drugs obtained from the animal source coming to the next uh, topic clearing and mounting techniques it is uh, so far i discussed the introduction about your uh, pharmacognosy drugs uh, clearing and mounting techniques it is very important uh, in gpat sometimes they ask to questions uh, whenever you take a section you did money section in your lab from first year to final year uh, you take a thin section by using your blade or anything laser or anything so first whatever may be the section the section should be cleared by using chloral hydrate or white wipers that are potassium hydroxide why it should be cleared first of all because most of the section you are taking either in the fresh material or in the dried material so whatever may be it contain many coloring matter impurities are there and chlorophylls there it should be removed from the cellular then only we can easily clearly visible the cells for that one the chloral hydrate it is a dry hydrate it is a Uh, aldehyde substance it is used but nowadays the chloral hydrate is a very sedative very hypnotic very toxic the government uh, stopped the use of the chloral hydrate in the lab as a clearing liquid so we are using an alternative solution 0.5% or 0.2% solution of potassium hydroxide so you take a section you clear the section with these two either one of the solution to make it clear to remove from the coloring matter and other chlorophyll matter then after that we can prepare a different type of slide there are based upon the pharmacognosy there are five or four three slides are very commonly prepared in each and every class unstained stained and iodine unstained the name itself here there is no stain reaction occurs just you have to take a section clear the section add glycerin why in all the slide you see here, here also glycerin is used here also glycerin is used why in all the slide glycerin is used because glycerin is a dry hydrate alcohol 
it prevents the drying of the section it is a very important gpat question why glycerin is used in all the mountain top the slide because it is anti drying agent it prevents the drying of the section minimum of 2 to 3 hours so that is why the glycerin is used number one second number glycerin is chemically inactive it does not react with any cell constituents or cellular character that is why you have to use so in the first slide unstained it does not produce any color here there is no color so what purpose it is used it is used for identification of calcium oxalate crystal trichomes type of stomata next uh, unstained stained it is uh, uh, mainly used for the identification of lignified tissue so here what are the mixtures are used one is to one mixture of the fluoroglycinol concentrated hydrochloric acid one is to one both can be added in equal drop then the sections are diluted or hydrolyzed by dilute acid then transfer to another final slide glycerin is added what is the use of this slide this is used mainly for detailed identification of lignified tissue what is lignin what is lignified tissue the cells which contain lignin are called lignified tissue what is a lignin it is a basic metabolic polyphenolic compound by nature it is produced by the metabolic process of the plant it is almost present in the xyla vessel sclerenchyma xyla fibers sclerites and some of the trichomes not all the trichomes okay so the lignified tissues example sclerites xyla vessel xyla fiber floya fiber fiber means all the fibers and some of the trichomes example the trichome which has a lignified is a nuxomica it is also another important gpas question the lignified trichomes are nuxomica trichomes okay then next la uh, third slide iodine it is as a name itself it is used for the identification of starch because starch is a major metabolic product reserved food in the plant uh, product plant uh, so they are mostly present in the inside the cell cell inclusion they are present in the cell in the form of grains uh, they are not easily degradable so that is why they they are present in the form of unstable grains like the form so you take a section you add dilute solution of iodine then finally you add glycerin glycerin here also you also add the cell attains a starch grains uh, gets a blue color so the blue color indicates the presence of starch the next one uh, identification of fixed oil you take a section you add sodium 3 it is a dye then you warm a selection you have to get a orange yellow color so that indicates fixed oil globules the fixed oil present in the form of oil globules example of the drug which contain linseed phenyl and like that the test for mucilage it is also another natural metabolic product for that one the dye used is ruthenium red you take a section add ruthenium red solution then you observe under microscope if the particles or any section gets a pink color it indicates the section or the plant containing mucilage example of the plant which contain mucilage are one is organized drug zabgol unorganized drugs agar both contain a mucilage that a mucilage is made that a color reaction is mainly due to presence of some carbohydrate substance okay then next coming to this so far different type of uh, mountings and techniques we are used next one cell wall constituents what are the cell wall constituents uh, there are what is cell wall usually a plant cell is made up of cell wall it is a major difference between the cell wall animal cell and plant cell animal cell does not have any cell wall plant cell has a cell wall apart from plasma membrane that is a major difference between the animal cell and plant cell in the cell wall most of the plant containing different uh, uh, compounds uh, uh, some of the plant contain subring some contain cutin some contain cellulose so those cell wall which are made up of cutin or super subring they are called superized or cutinized walls so what is that meaning it consists of the mixtures of the substance they are called high polymer fatty acids like supric acid and these are found in the cord cells or endodermal cells of the plant epidermal cell or endodermal or cord cell they are mostly present at next uh, cell wall consists of cutin it is also a secondary metabolic deposit which is mostly present in the uh, cell wall another one is called cellulose okay Uh, then leaves containing epidermis this epidermis made up of cuticle that cuticle contain cutin that cutin also is a important constituent present in the cell wall that cutin is only so the characteristic ridges and papillae and striations in the epidermis of the leaf so the cutin cellulose subrin cutin these are the some of the important cell wall constituent normally present in the plant cell so how you can identify if you use there are number of tests are there but i given only a few which are most important very frequently asked in the gpat question 
Clothes in iodine solution, if you add yellow to brown color, it is mainly due to cellulose. Then you add a dye sued on red 3 in glycerin. On warming, it produces a red color. That may be due to uh, cutin or subrin. The next one, you take a strong solution of potassium hydroxide. If it is gives us yellow color in the cell wall, it may be due to cutin. Uh, if you take a dilute tincture of alkana plus alkali sodium or anything, a pink color is produced that may be subrin. So concentrated sulfuric acid added to the cell wall, which does not dissolve the cell wall, it may be a subrin or cutin. Okay. If it is dissolved, it may be cellulose. So like that one, we can easily identify what are the cell wall constituents present in the cell wall. But what are the function of these one? They, they are gives us either to the production to the leaf or it gives us some identification of the leaf. Mainly it gives us some thickening of the plant. It gives us a, a productive layer or a water preventive layer for the underlying cells. Then another very important concept mostly found in the animal. I already told animal does not have any cell wall, but even though in cell membrane, that is called a plant, the protoplasmic membrane. In the membrane, some of the cell constituents are presented. The most concern present in the animal cell is called chitin. It is a polyacetyl amino hexose, which form a major part of the cell wall of the insects and fungi. It does not give any reactions like cellulose or lignin. We can determine cellulose flow zinc iodine solution, lignin fluoroglycerol concentrator hydrochloric acid pink color. Like that, we cannot identify any chemical test by chitin. So chitin can be heated, the cell wall is isolated, which can be heated 160 to 170 degrees centigrade, 50% potassium hydroxide for one hour. Chitin is converted into chitosan. This can be, uh, gives us a violet color when it is treated with the 0.5% solution of iodine in potassium iodide solution in presence of 1% sulfuric acid. So with the help of hydrolyzing process only, chitin can be converted into chitosan, then it can be identified. Then coming to the uh, next topic, cell inclusions. We have to identify what is cell wall constituent cell inclusion. Cell wall constituents are naturally presented in the wall of the cell, plant cell or animal cell wall. Um, they are mainly gives us the, a productive function for the plant. What is cell inclusion? These are the uh, maybe a primary metabolic product or it may be a secondary metabolic product. They are usually present inside the cell, in, into the cell. So cell inclusions are the yeah, build up material. They are usually present in the cell vacuoles that cannot be broken down by the cell waste elimination mechanism. They are usually, you see, they otherwise simply we can tell it is a waste excretory product of the plant. It is a waste product of the plant after the catabolism over, the secondary metabolites are need to be eliminated, but they are not at all eliminated by the mechanism. So they cannot be broken down. So they are presented as such as a minute grain or a minute globules or anything inside the cell as a inclusion. They are mostly present in the cell vacuoles inside the cell. So they are called the cell inclusions. What are the three types that one? One is a proteinous substance, another is a lipids, third is a carbohydrate, that is amyloid substance. Under that carbohydrate, starch, cellulose and other substances are there. Third one, fourth one is, is a crystalline substance. These crystallines are nothing but they are inorganic salts. The inorganic salts as a waste product in the plant are the, one is calcium oxalate, another is a calcium carbonate. The calcium oxalate mostly present in the plant in the crystalline form, either trusses or prisms or needle shape, different types in the shape. The presence of cell inclusion in its phi is very diagnostic character to identify the plant and also to what is the use of the cell inclusion? They are very useful to identify the plant and also to determine the purity of the plant. So calcium oxalate, which occurs abundantly in the plant tissue in the form of developed, well-developed, crystals will develop this structure also, but the size is variable, but the, the shape is uniform. Its appearance is very important. The size and shape is very, very important for the identification of the plant material. So number one, proteins. It is a storage protein, which is usually insoluble, which occur inside the cell as a leucoplast in the form of aluron grains. It is a GPAT question. What is aluron grains? Aluron grains are nothing but storage of protein in the form of small uh, grains or in the special leucoplast, they are called aluron grains. They are mostly present in the endosperm of the seed. Depending upon the internal structure, aluron grains, there are different types. They may be a globular, they may be amorphous, or they may be a crystalloid, or it may be combination of both the globoid and crystalloid. So this is a photography. 
which shows that uh, cells containing it is a castor seed containing endosperm it is the endosperm cell inside the endosperm cell it is a uh, proteins present in the alveolar grains so here this is a crystalloid if have some hexagonal type of crystal this is a globular so this is a globular this is a uh, i will take a point okay this is a uh, uh, this one is a crystalline character this is a globular character so this is a protein structure they are mostly present in the endosperm of the seed wheat maize and the castor seed all the seeds contain proteinous substance next one the inorganic substance they are called crystal i told you they are mostly present in the crystalline form the crystals are have a different com, different uh, shape and size but uh, chemical nature they are calcium oxalate they are very common in the plant uh, the shape is very from the elongated to small minute grain to long needle like structure we have to see one by one prism it is a single crystal it is a simple twinned crystal which are comparatively large and formed this is a prismatic crystal you see prisms of crystal they are very common in almost all the plant they are present either in a single or in a uh, two or three in number but they are isolated one example most example of the plant datura leaf senna leaf and other uh, licorice we can tell many examples this is a cluster crystal they are mostly present in the uh, 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 senna leaf and stomonium datura stomonia here what happened the number of crystal prismatic it is a one prism it is an, a number of prismatic crystals are collectively they form a group that is called a cluster they are aggregated crystal they are aggregates of the compressing of the number of crystal number of, of uh, prisms are aggregated together to form a more or less spherical mass with a projecting point these are called a projecting point these are called look like a, a cluster form okay so these are cluster form otherwise we can tell rosette type of crystals the next one acicular what is acicular they are long slender needle shaped crystal long slender but they looks like a bundle bundle of crystal if they are separately present presented in isolated they are called a needle shaped crystal but if once if it is occur in a bundle or in group they are called raphides these are called raphide it is a cell this is a cell inside the cell it is a raphides so they are found either single or bundle if it is bundle they are called raphides the raphides are more normally present in apicock and squill okay this is another important gpac question example of drug which contain a raphides is the apicock one and squill also next one another one more i told you uh, inorganic salts that is called as yeah uh, uh, calcium carbonate these calcium carbonate is also one of that but it's not very common to all the plant like uh, calcium oxalate crystal and uh, this is uh, they are presented in a bunch like cells like uh, grapes branch like that one uh, cell wall so this is called a cystolith so cystolith which are internal outgrowth of the cell wall they are the, it is a cell wall growth only but internally it growth not externally example ficus and some of the cardamom plant also uh, and some of the datura plant also it is present if in addition to the cystolith calcium carbonate Uh, other inorganic salts cell inclusions are called silicone silicious or silicon salts they are mostly deposited in the cell wall of the grasses that is why the grasses edutinga on the edges of the grasses la parunga or white color la it lo looks like a somewhat uh, uh, coarse appearance if you touch that grass one it is a powdery mass ma irukku that is mainly due to presence of the silicious material deposited in the epidermal cell wall sometimes they may present in the nodules nodules na isthmus ma knots ma di all also present they are called siliceous nodule or silica nodules these silica nodules are very common character present in cardamom seed in the outer seed coat of the seed okay so these are the another cell inclusion usually presented so whatever may be the cell in whether it is a protein or a, a whatever they are very useful to identify the uh, identity of the plant okay so another very important cell inclusions are starch grains uh, i already told the starch is a major metabolic product which is produced there. so ginger it is a starch grain ginger in ginger the starch grains are uh, oval shape that is otherwise known as sac shape this is a starch grain present in potato a very big starch grain with the concentric striations are there the center will be their called po po pointed hilum this is a maize starch the maize the hilum will be cleft cleft na or division madhi the The 
then you see constant isolated single starch line if they are appear in a group form they are called common starch line this is a single this is a compound both will be present in epicoque this is a rowel fuel starch line exactly rounded nalla diameter paanga round a irukke inge polygetral a irukke maize la inge vandu oval shape la irukke inge vandu nalla oblong oval la shack maadi irukku ulle appadiye oru oru sack na na oru idu maadi irukku paarga oru packets maadi irukku looks like a packet so why i represent all this one so here you see 1 2 3 4 5 I, i've quoted only five but out of the five you see the so many difference that is why the size and the shape of the starch grain even the number also variable very very important diagnostic character to identify the a particular plant species for example i'm telling you take a epicoc there are different type of epicoc rio ep epicoc panama epicoc base epicoc or not cephalis acuminata like that one so each and every species have its own type of starch grain each and every species have its own size and shape as well as number of starch grain also that is why they are very important for the one we can measure that one also and next one so far we discussed about cell inclusion cell wall constitution next i will move on to the general macroscopic microscopic character i i here i given the a comparative study pump Uh, for example you take a cinnamon cinchona cascara id moonume bark all the three are bark okay so if you take a cinnamon it is other mara marapatta lavanga marapatta manga id poina marapatta manga idukku tamil name avula illa idla moonume important character enna pathina it is not so much important character here ellathilume inde ellame double quill single quill double quill single quill da shape la important character neenga paakanum na here you take a cinnamon it contain outer surface very smooth glassy surface it is a very very important character the reason enna kettingna id actually cinnamon vandu rough ah tha irukum but when after collection the outer cork is removed the reason uh, the cork contain on toxic substance that should be avoided when the preparation of drug so it should be removed before it come to the market that is why the surface will be very smooth due to removal of the cork next vandu சிங்கோனா த சர்ஃபேஸ் இஸ் வெரி ரஃப் இங்க பாருங்க ரொம்ப ரஃபா இருக்கு பாருங்க இதுல வந்து அங்கங்க ஒயிட் பேச்சஸ் இருக்கு தட் ஒயிட் பேச்சஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் எ லிச்சன்ஸ் ஆர் லைச்சன்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் லைச்சன்ஸ் தே ஆர் கால்ட் அஸ் ஏ ஃபங்கல் growth and algae growth they are symbiotically growing together the presence of lichens is a very important character to differentiate the stem from the root bark stem ல இருந்து root எடுக்கிறது எப்படினே இப்ப stem ல மட்டும் தான் லிச்சன்ஸ் இருக்கும் root bark ல இருக்காது the reason lichens are the uh, uh, by uh, symbiotic growth symbiotic means the parasitic growth algae and fungi they are all grew, uh, they are uh, growing together algae is a chlorophyll containing organism fungi is a non chlorophyll organism algae produces a food from the sunlight whereas fungi gives a shelter to the algae so that is why the stem only we can see the sunlight stem only exposed to our our sunlight so due to exposure of sunlight in the stem the algae can grow due to growth of algae the fungus also can attached okay that is why the stem bark only containing lichens the root bark is absent that is the main difference between the root and the stem bark of the uh, cinchona in macroscopical character okay coming to cascara cascara also contain lichens it is a very thin bark the color of the bark will be yellow color whereas in uh, cinchona the color may be yellow or red the yellow red ah irundha adukku per succirubra yellow ah irundha adukku per legeriana and the yellow and the red ah vandu botanical source vachu dhaan pirichirukanga the word legeriana is a latin term meaning yellow succirubra is a latin term meaning red color so these are also, also some of the important g pad question they asking what is lichens what are the color then coming to the uh, important characters i will tell you the important character only usually cinnamon contain car cortex pericycle uh, sclerites are presented pericyclic phloem is presented they are radially arranged phloem fibers the fibers are lignified fiber the sclerites also lignified the fibers are very narrow very thin phloem fibers whereas in cinchona the fibers are long spindle shape idukku idukulla difference parunga spindle what is a spindle spindle na center la broader a irukum and tip narrow a irukum that is called a spindle இங்க வந்து ஃபனல் ஷேப்டு பிட்டிங்ஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் கால்டு பிட்டிங் திஸ் இஸ் அ லிகினிஃபைட் ஃபைபர் ஸோ தே ஆர் ரேடியலி அரேஞ்ச் ஃபைபர் ஸ்பெண்டில் ஷேப் ஃபனல் ஷேப்டு ஃபிட்டிங் இட் இஸ் கால்டு பிட்டிங் அது ஷேப் பாருங்க லுக்ஸ் லைக் ஏ ஃபனல் இங்க ப்ராடரா இருக்கு போக போக நேரவா இருக்கு ஸோ ஃபனல் ஷேப்டு பிட்ஸ் வித் லிகினிஃபைடு ஒன் ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் நோ ஸ்கிளீரைட்ஸ் ஸ்கிளீரைட்ஸ் இன்னமல்ல மட்டும் தான் இருக்கும் கேஸ்காரல் இருக்கும் சிங்கோனா தெர் இஸ் நோ ஸ்கிளீரைட் இட் கண்டே இடியோ பிளாஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் அடியோ பிளாஸ்ட் இடியோ பிளாஸ்ட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் இட் இஸ் கால்டு இடியோ பிளாஸ்ட் இட் இஸ் ஹியர் ஐ கிவன் 
it is a, uh, some of the parenchyma contain containing a microspinoidal crystals of calcium oxalate. Other calcium oxalate crystals on the microsphere lerko, sinus in a form lerko, needles, uh, the dot madi, uh, like uh, sand grains. So that is why they are called. So the cell which contain microspinoidal crystals are called idioplast. Okay. So it is another important clear. So here I given the last paragraph, I given the diagnostic character. Uh, presence of recycled fibers, clearites, lignified fluorine fiber, mucilage cell, oil cell. Here, presence of spindle shaped fiber, idioplast, no sclerites. Even the negative character sometimes very helpful to identify the plant. Okay, minute crystals of calcium oxalate, idioplast, everything. Coming to the cascara, sclerites are very common, but here, one more important character fiber. It is a fiber, phloem fiber, which are always surrounded by the crystal layer. Here, you see crystals. A prismatic crystal, each cell containing one prismatic crystal, it is a prism. So this is called a fiber with the crystal layer of calcium oxalate. The prism type is a prism. Sorry, the calcium oxalate type is a prisms. Next, I am going to the leaf, senna and magic chalice. This already you studied. I have given, I have given only the important character. Senna mucurinate apex is very important in uh, digitalis artus apex, winged petiole, anastomosing venation. These are the very important character, dentate margin. Uh, the size and shape, they won't ask very much. Here, the margin will be, you see, some striations. Here, you see the margin, it is a very smooth. If a smooth margin is a entire, the margin have irregular striation, they are called a dentate. What is a wing petiole? Here, you see the petiole, the difference between these, these two petiole, a normal small petiole only. Here, the petiole, the lamina will be extended till the petiole. This is a lamina. It is extended up to the petiole. So it looks like a wing-like structure. That is why it is called wing petiole. Then base is an equal base. Both the margins are started at the same level. Here you see unequal base. One margin above, the other margin will be below. This is a below, it is a above. So the both margins of the leaf are not at the same level, symmetrical level. That is why asymmetrical base, it is a winged petiole. Then coming to the microscopic character, uh, unicellular trichome. It is a multicellular trichome. It is a trichome with a collapsed cell, penultimate cell. That is called a penultimate means the knee just below the apex of the cell. Just below the apex of the cell. The second cell of the apex cell is called a penultimate cell. The penultimate cell is collapsed. It is a collapsed cell. That is why it is called multicellular penultimate cell trichome. It is a multicellular unicellular. It is a glandular trichome. All trichomes are present in digitalis, whereas in Senna, only one is cellular, only one cell. You see. One, two, three, four, five. That is why it is a multicellular, it is a unicellular. It is a glandular trichum, glandular trichum absent. It contains uh, fiber with the crystal sheath. Here, the fiber with the crystal sheath is absent. Coming to the stomata, no crystal. Very, very important GPAT question. The only leaf which containing without crystal is called a digitalis. Digitalis does not contain any crystals at all. Very important GPAT question. Other leaves say Datura, Senna, Stromonium, Basaka, even Vinca containing crystals. This leaf does not contain any crystal at all. Then coming to the stomata, there are two types of here, parasitic stomata. Here it is called anamocytic. What is a parasitic parallel cell? It is otherwise known as rubiaceous type. There are two, each stomite is a stoma, guard cell with a center pore, which is surrounded by two cells. Each epidermal cell arranged parallel to that of the center pole. That is why it is called a parallel. Parallel This is a long axis of the epidermal cell, which arranged parallel to the center pole. Here also you take parallel to the center pole. So this is called a parasitic rubiaceous type. Another one, anamocytic, otherwise it is known as ranunculaceous type. Ranunculaceous. According to family also it is called. Otherwise it is known irregular cell. Thirty name. Anamocytic is a nature. Ranunculus is a fame family. Don't think digitalis belong to Ranunculus family. It is not like that. Senna belong to Leguminaceae family. Then why it is Rubiaceous type it is called? In the Rubiaceae family, it was the first character. This type of stomata was the first character was found out. So to honor of that one, the parasitic stomata is called Rubiaceous type. Same thing, digitalis belongs to Scorpulaceae family. But why the stomata is called Ranunculus? Reason. In the Ranunculaceae family, anamocytic type of stomata was the first character was found out. So to make that one, it is called a Ranunculaceae type. Okay. What is the nature of this one? Irregular cell. It is a stoma which is surrounded by the irregular size. Okay, the three cells or four cells. We cannot tell which is small, which is big. The cell walls are wavy. You see the difference. Students, you see the difference that two 
here the walls are straight cell wall it is a cell wall here the cell walls are wavy so straight walls a uh, wavy wall two cells four or three cells rubiaceous ranunculaceous parallel cell irregular cell so like that whenever you treat comparatively you can easily remember everything here glandular trichomes are absent in addition to that one senna contain fiber with the crystal sheath actually the fiber with the crystal sheath is a very common character for all leguminaceous family okay next one was it is a uh, acuminate apex it is a uh, uh, belladonna vinca these are the glandular trichome it is a multicellular glandular trichome it is a multicellular glandular trichome it is a unicellular glandular trichome uh, all the type of trichomes are present here microspinadrial crystal that is called sandy crystals of calcium oxalate presented the type of stomata is called anisocytic aniso what is aniso each stoma surrounded by the three cells here you see three cell one of the cell is smaller here you take this one 1 2 3 the third cell is very smaller here you take this three 1 2 3 the third, third cell or any one of the cell is smaller that is called anisocytic uh, small cell type the name of other family name cruci cruciferous cruciferous example atroba all solanaceous family atroba belladonna datura henbane dubesia all the leaf containing this one the next one vinca rosea it is anti can potent anti cancer drug it is a unicellular trichome only unicellular like senna here also no crystal you see the one more leaf it does not contain crystal vinca and digitalis here the stomata the same type anisocyte irregular it is a small cell uh, this is a same one okay in the vinca again the mucronate apex entire margin like senna entire margin mucronate apex unequal base okay so this is like that one we can see next uh, you come into the flower cloud you know what is a cloud it is a flower bud the main important character bilocular ovary a number of stamens are presented uh, calyx are four in number sepals are four in number uh, important uh, microscopic character it contains isolysogenous oil gland uh, which are very essential character for the this one pollen grains usually flower na pollen irukko pollen vandu different shape la irukko spherical rounded tetrahedral uh, triangular in the idula vandu cloud la vandu triangular okay then very important character yarenthema Clove another weightless are going. Because clove, everything na weight away weightless are going. Cardam amundi weight are going. The reason clove does contain more air and thema. What is air and thema? It is ordinary parenchyma cell which contain more air space. Here in clove there is a no sclerites, no starch. The sclerite starch which then the clove amundi adulteration can develop. So it contain no uh, starch and sclerites, but it contain crystals. So due to absence of starch and sclerites in the genu clove, we can determine the adulteration of clove. Next is saffron, kungma pus, styles and stigma. The part of the organ used in the name of saffron, the upper part of the style, uh, anti stigma. It is a dry fit stigma, yellow in color. It is dissolved in soil, yellow color. Then pyrethrum. The pyrethrum is an insect flower. It is used as an insecticide. Uh, it is a unisexual cal uh, flower. It containing two types of floret, ray floret and disc floret. The disc floret is center. It is a bisexual. Ray floret is unisexual. Very important character. I am dealing only the important character. T shaped it hair. I will show the tri diagram. The pollen grains here is a triangular. Here it is a spherical. Here also it is a spherical one. Uh, vascular bundles are presented. Then this is the same only given here. You see this is a pyrethrum pollen grain spherical with the striations and the reticulations are there. It is a T shaped trichome. You see male of the code when the key of the word that looks like a T letter T T for a Tokyo. Okay, I am. These shaped trichomes are present. Very character feature in pyrethra. It is a very very important character for a GPAT question because flowers does not contain any trichome. The only flower which contain trichome is a pyrethra flower. Okay. Then saffron, I told you, it is a spherical pollen, pollen, isogenous plant. That's all. Then coming to the seed, the important seed only and dealing. Now Swamika already told you, it is a lignified trichome. Usually trichomes are not unlignified. The only Drug which contain lignified trichome is a Naxomica, a long trichome. The length of the trichome is more than 350 micron, and it contain oil globules, fixed oil globules, proteins. Everything will be presented here. Aluron grains, fixed oils are present. What is the plasmotisma? It is another important GPAC question. Usually, it is present in Naxomica. It is nothing but the protoplasm of the cell extended in the form of fine thread-like structure across the cell wall. 
crossed at the side wall to other neighboring cells. So far, you see here the protoplasm extended to the another navel. So they form a, a small thread like structure in the side wall. This is structure is called a plasma tesmata or plasma tesma. How it can be identified? You take a section, you add iodine and sulfuric acid, it gets a blue color. With the help of blue color, we can easily identify. The lignified trichome we can identify by using fluoroglycinol in concentrated hydrochloric acid. So this is uh, another one, comparative study of roots and rhizomes. Uh, there are three, four roots I given, Ravolpia, ginger, epicoc, licorice. Uh, there is a, Ravolpia is a root, ginger uh, like that one. So here you see the stratified core. Stratified means small cell, larger cell, small cell. The stratification will be there. It is a lignified cork in Ravolfia. Whereas here, unlignified cork, radially elongated cells. Same thing here, a fork-shaped xylofiber, unlignified septate fiber. This is a fiber with the narrow fiber, lignified fiber. What is a septum? Here you see center a septums are there. In ginger, the very important character, very important GPAT question, unlignified septate fiber. It is a uh, character present only in ginger. Here you see the fork, fork, the fork, currently. Fork, fiber. So it looks like a fork shape. It is a lignified one. This is ordinary narrow fiber in Epica. Here, fiber with the crystal seed. Like Senna, I told you in Senna, no, fiber with the crystal seed. Xyla vessel, pitted vessel, spiral vessel, annular vessel, pitted vessel, pitted vessel with the border pitted, border pits, border larger diameter. You see larger diameter. The pittings are there, each pit surrounded by the some border. So this is a way we have to study in the GPAD. Important question only how to read. Other things are same only. Uh, for example, folk shaped silo means Ravolfia. Septate fiber means like ginger. Fiber with the crystal seed means uh, liquorice. Like that, if you study, we can easily remember the comparative study. That is why I given this table to you. Uh, this is the same only, but uh, starch grains only here I explained. Um, in Ravolfia, rounded starch grain, I already told you. In ginger, oval shaped starch grain. In epicoc, oval, but in more group, in more in group, okay? Here, rounded in groups, okay? Then crystals are not many occur. No crystals in the ginger. You see the difference. Here, crystals are there. In ginger, no crystals. In epicoc, rapids, needle-shaped crystals, prismatic crystal. So you see the difference, even the crystal. That is why I given the importance in the identification of the cell inclusions. With the help of cell inclusion, we can easily identify the drug Determine the purity of the drug, identify the uh, particular species variety of the crude drug also. So rounded, no, uh, no crystals. Crystals here, some minute crystals are there. Here raphides, here prismatic. Then this is uh, umbiliferous roots that uh, you know very well. Uh, um, sir, Saravanan, sir. Yes, madam. Nadia, yeah, point. Uh, Nadia, point. Okay, Another five minutes, ma'am. Uh, we have uh, till okay. 11.30. Another okay. five minutes we can replace. Okay, okay. You know, I have slides. The remaining I will continue in the next class. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay, no problem. You know, because I have to give chance to Marani also. So, okay. comparative study for the umbiliferous foods, fennel, coriander, caraway that you have studied already in your class. Uh, usually, if you take a fennel, it will have a 12 vita and uh, 18 ridges. In the, the same thing you can do coriander, only 4 vita. Usually in the young fruit containing um, uh, like 12, like fennel, but when the fruits matured, it, uh, only four beta, 18 ridges primary. The 18 ridges here all are only primary. Here wavy ridges are there. That is another very, very important character. A yeah, primary wavy ridges in fennel. So calyx is present. Here calyx is absent. Okay. Like that, you have to see some difference in the umbiliferous fruits. Whereas coming to the anise fruit, and the number of betas are more in number. Five primary just number of beta will be more. Here only six beta. Here at 12 betas are there. So the number of beta, number of ridges, presence and absence of calyx are very important. Diagnostic character to identify the different type of umbiliferous roots. Same thing coming to the microscopical character. Uh, there are three important layer, mesocarp, pentocarp, beta and the other things. So fennel contain reticulate parenchyma, important character. Whereas uh, uh, endocarp contain parkutri layer. And these other things. So here I given the special character last column, a lignified parenchyma. Usually the parenchyma is unlignified. Here a lignified reticulate parenchyma. It is a special diagnostic character in the fennel. Whereas in the coriander, a lignified sclerenchymatous fiber with only two beta, 
is a very important character. Okay, this is called a parcutary layer. Parcutary layer is present in almost all the fruits in the endocarp, where it is present in the endocarp. Then coming to the uh, uh, dill, the last two ridges are come, changes into lateral wings. Others are same. It also contain parenchyma. It also containing vita six vita like fennel. The next one, ajovan. Here the ridges are papillosus kings separated from the mesomeric arc. Then very, very important, anisi, the only umbiliferous fruits which contain more than 20 vita. More than 20. Usually in all fruits, fennel only 12. Here only 2 or 4. Here only 6, like that only. But here it contains more than 20 vita. That is very important diagnostic character for anisi. Then coming to the last point, I come okay, uh, stop this quantitative microscopy. So it is a very important microscopical test used to identify the uh, some of the uh, size of the cells or a total number of tissues present in the some special area. It should be carried out by two methods by using linear measurement, by using uh, calibrated scale eyepiece micrometer, or we can count the uh, total number of cell or area by using the same camera lucida optical device. Another one part is called uh, the purity of the drug or the amount of the substance present in the by like a podium score method. Um, the, in the first method, linear measurement, there are two scales are used that are very well known. What is the importance of this one? We can use standardize the scale that you have studied everything. These are the some number of the tissue character we usually make. Floya fibers, trichomes, starch grain, prismatic crystal, pollen grains. So all these uh, cellular character, we can uh, determine the size of the uh, one. Same thing, number also we can determine by using your optical or we can count the total number of uh, cells present in a particular area also. So next one, what is the importance for quantitative linear measurement to identify the crude drug, what type of drug, to determine the genuinity of the drug, purity of the sample, to identify what is the species within the genus. For example, if you take a casea, there are different type of casea, senna leaf, casea oba beta, casea angustifolia, casea angutifolia. By using trichome size and stomatal number, stomatal index, we can determine what particular species within the genus, okay? Same thing, ginger. There are different types of ginger, adulterated ginger, substandard, pure ginger. So with the help of starch grain measurement, we can identify the whether it is a used ginger, spent ginger, or this one. Next one, trichomes that I told you, there are two types, Senna, Venice, Senna, Alexandrian, Senna. The two are chemically similar, macroscopically similar, microscopically similar. How then you can evaluate? We can evaluate by using quantitative microscopy like trichome length and the width of the trichome. That will be the slight difference will be there. Same thing coming to the casea cinnamon, silone cinnamon. There are two cinnamons are there. Both cinnamons are microscopically equal. So in that such a condition, we can identify the fiber measurement, the flow of fiber size. Each and every bark has its own value. I given here with the help of the size. Usually the size can be measured, flow of fiber size can be measured in the form of length and width, length and width. So they are usually expressed in the unit micrometers. Okay. The next one, crystals, that also we can, because uh, the picrasma excels are causia. It is called causia. There are two types of causia. Wood is there, picrasma excels are picrasma amara. Both are uh, official in the pharmacopoeia, but how we can identify? Both are chemically, macroscopically similar. So with the help of prisms, because that drug containing large prismatic crystal, these prismatic crystal size can be measured by using micrometer scale. With the help of size, we can identify. Same thing, Ravolfia, potato starch, rice starch, maize starch, because all the starch powder white in color. All gives uh, blue color with iodine. So we cannot evaluate the sample what type of commercial starch. In such a condition, you go for the measurement of the size of the starch grains. Then we can easily identify because standard values are given in official book. Your test values will be compared with your standard values. The last one, next one, estimate the number of cells. So you know what is stomatal number, stomatal index. These are the sum of the leaf constant. They can be measured by using optical device like camera lucida. Here, the total number of stomata present in one square millimeter area of the leaf can be calculated. Same thing, the stomatal index formula can be used. What is the use of this one? Again, the use is used to differentiate the uh, different species among the genus. Example, I told all you. Same thing, solanesis drug. These drugs are called sister drug. Now, this sister drug is not You know, sister drug. sister drug. So because of the sister drug, we cannot identify macroscopically. External, 
So if we go for uh, these constant, we can even easily determine which is atropha, which is tetra, which is n-bain. The lycopodia, it is a very, very important quantitative method, which is mostly used to determine the percentage purity of the sample. It was developed by the PE Valley's father of homocognacy. Lycopodia powder is obtained, it is a spore powder, it is obtained from the fungus, uh, club moss, lycopodium clavatum. The, the leaf was collected, dried and powdered. That the powder belongs to the family Lycopodiaceae. That powder contains uniform spore. That one milligram of powder contains 94,000 spore. It is an important deeper question. Why that another one more question? Why the spore is used as a reference standard, internal standard? The reason Lycopodia is used as a reference by comparison study. Reason it has uniform moisture content. The weight is not variable. The size of the spore is uniform, stable chemically and thermally. That is why it is used as an internal reference standard. Okay. These spores are spherical in nature, yellow in color. They are detrahedral or spheroidal, somewhat a reticulated surface. This is the formula we are using, percentage purity. What is the NI given? These are already studied. So always your test sample comparable with the standard internal standard like a podium. Your test sample, this method is applicable only for those drugs. They're having a uniform defined particles like starch grains, pollen grains, sclerites, uh, single layer of cells. Uh, like that only we can use this method, okay? For example, uh, if you take a ginger starch, uh, the spent jar, ginger means adulterated, exhausted ginger. Exhausted ginger means the ginger in which volatile oil is completely removed, or the ginger in which that uh, active common is removed, that is called spent. That can be usually adulterated with the original ginger. So that can be detected by using this like a polyester spore method. So we we can put all these values in a formula. We got a percentage. This percentage may be indicated whether the drug is a pure or impure. What is the standard value for ginger? One milligram of ginger powder contains two, 286,000 of starch grain per milligram of powder. This is a standard value. It was done by the experimental method in the official book. By using this standard value, we can identify your sample. Uh, these are the some of the family source I given that just you have to read it. So, shall I stop this one? Uh, okay, these are madam. the some of the synonym students. These are the Sanama, the synonym students. This is very, very important. I collectively collect together yesterday. Uh, the red, whatever I given the red mark indicates the very frequently asked in the GPAT question. There are a number of synonyms are there in cognizance, but it is very difficult to remember everything. So, I given some small, for example, Drugs containing glycoside, what are the normal synonyms? For example, foxglove, senna is a digitalis. Sacred bark, cascara. Uh, then coming to Panama wood, pulia bark. Indian school, white school, European school. So like that, I given some important uh, thing only for that one. Uh, Konisi bark, I, I didn't given, I think so. Konisi bark, it is nothing but kurchi bark. So like that, I given some of the name. Next one, carbohydrate. Here also, psyllium seed, flax pea seed, Japanese isinglass. This agar otherwise known as vegetable gelatin. So these are the some of the synonym. Starch usually called amylum. So here I given the uh, drug name. Here I given the synonym name. This synonym based upon anything. So this is called the crude drug containing carbohydrate. Then this is a crude drug containing oils, lenolin, flax seed, linseed oil, Brazil wax, cardamom wax. Uh, Melumang, that is a honey ki on the pair on the carbohydrate lover. The honey is called as a mill. I didn't put here. Meluna honey, like that. There are number. The same thing alkaloids. Cropic, cropic, and then three other naxomic and another participating. Cropic, three other than a naxomica out on the penya. Cropic is nothing but naxomica. Sarpaganda is nothing but Ravolfia. Adu, adusa, adusa, not adusa, adusa, nothing but Vasagali. Manghuang, it is a Chinese term. Ephedra. Thorn apple, datura, deadly nightshade, for an African name for an English for my deadly nightshade, belladonna, thorn apple, datura stomenium, Jesu bark, Peruvian bark, Countess bark, Countess cinchona. So, like that, in a, a number of synonyms are there in cognizance. I given some uh, important one in a red mark also. Same thing for a saffron, crocus, crocus, otherwise called a saffron, asafoetida, devil's dung among another smell when the buying ramosa marcuda, asafoetida smell is a uh, very Indian hemp, cannabis, uh, like that bitter apple colosin, thorn apple, not that to bitter apple, not colosin. Okay. So, like that, I given a number of synonyms. These are the number of tests, various tests you have to use. 
uh, alkaloid kundu, these are the tests already used you know these are the test for the amino acids we have to use ninkaidrin millens test time. these are the test we are usually observed for the test for carbohydrate felins test skips test for aldehyde tolens test for ketone and aldehyde keller kilyani test is used for identification of deoxy sugar purple color deoxy sugar then these are the test for the uh, glycosides modified anthraquinone modified anthraquinone for what type of glycoside bond drug for uh, c type of anthra legal cardiac glycoside home test sinoda test for flavonoidal cdr test for the uh, liberman test so the name of the test name of the common name of the drug is very very important gpat question perichlorate test phenolic common perichloride phenoxy hydroxyl group it is a common to all phenolic hydroxyl group that is i given best example black catechu pale catechu like that one uh, gelatin test for galls and other thing so these are the some name of the reaction thaliaquinone test for cinchona moroxide test for t xanthine alkaloid vitali morin test for vitaline trophen alkaloid example atrova datura bone drug test for anthraquinone glyce mayes test alkaloid millers for the protein uh, mostly for the amino acids cases hagas test for the uh, alkaloids as well as any amide linkage also while uh, the drug and drug for alkaloid gold peter test for uh, protein substance cuprolyne test for borbolyne and uh, combined amyliferone test for the asafoetida okay so like that is some name of the reactions is also there these are the family wise i given these are the some of the family these are the some of the crude drug what are the parts are used okay ninga padikumbodhu students last slide idoda mudichukuren aposinesin padikumbodhu apdiye padikadinga aposinesin eduthitingna ipo aposinesin la parangala na eppadi kuduthiruken parunga ethana 1 2 3 4 5 4 drugs irukke vinka vandu entire plant ravolfia vandu root kurchi vandu bark stephanda seed so or seed ku aposinesis or bark aposinesis or root aposinesis or whole plant aposinesis indha maari adhe maari solanesi paarenga eduthukonga number of drugs solanesis capsicum fruits datura whole, whole plant datroba henbane in, 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 nicotina leaf so like that if you study that one we can easily remember for some of the family one or one drug also for that i given separately composite family crucifera Dyscoriaceae, Loganaceae. So this is another one, same thing. These are the single, single family, single, single drug. Okay. Gingiberacy, parunga. Moon drug irukku parunga. Gingiberacy. Cardamom fruits, ginger rhizome, turmeric rhizome. So all belongs to gingiberacy family. So like that, you have to compare it. You have to study students. Thank you students for your patience listening. Any doubt you can ask. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, yes, J. Kumari, for your excellent and uh, elusive talk. It was very informative. Actually, I was wondering how you are going to complete this uh, big topic in uh, one hour. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but with your uh, eminent and excellent skill, you covered many of the topics. Even a lot of uh, students are uh, wishing you. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am, for your session. Very informative. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And uh, some of the students has uh, asked your uh, PDF also. I yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Definitely, I will share, sir. I, if you want, I will take one uh, detailed uh, classes also regarding that one. Whenever the students okay. are interested and free, I am very much uh, interested to take uh, again the same class. Any okay. other other uh, students? Any doubt? You ask now. Now, any doubt regarding that my topic? Students, if you have any doubt, you can. Because, uh, um, chat, time is also less in the chat. Okay, so chat also, you can ask in the WhatsApp group. Uh, Madam, uh, she is very uh, uh, re always ready to answer to you, uh, even in her uh, busy schedule also. Yes, okay. sir. No problem. Yes. No problem, sir. Yes. Okay, students. The second yes. session, Madam is waiting. Umarani, Madam, he also very much yes. close friend of me and a very colleague. We are worked a long time with her, yes. with her also. So, students, you listen that class also. Don't miss it. Uh, but uh, sir, Sini was sir, you guys get to come students or your feedback, oh. Uh, definitely, test, uh, definitely. Tested, tested. Not my regarding my class, regarding the test and other okay. things, sir. Hmm? Okay. I will send Actually, the PDF yeah. students. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, one thing I want to highlight: uh, your energy level in the speech. <laughs> Always, it is uh, it is a high energy level. Uh, you are maintaining from start to end the same energy. It's really amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank uh, you, sir, for your compliment. Sir, thank you, sir. Madam, thank, thank you, you, doctor.
அதே ரொம்ப வாஸ்ட் சப்ஜெக்ட் சார் என்னால டைம் ஏனா உமாராணி மேடம் வந்து நம்ம சான்ஸ் கொடுக்கணும் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் போயிர கூடாது மீட்டிங் அவுட் இல்ல அதான் கரெக்ட் கரெக்ட் இல்ல மேடம் एक्चुअली வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஜாயின் பண்ண எல்லா ஸ்டூடண்டும் அப்படியே இருக்காங்க நோ படி ஓகே நோ ப்ராப்ளம் ஆமா 40 ஆமா 40 இஸ் மை டைம் தட் கிளியர்லி ஷோஸ் தி இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் லெவல் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் ஆல்சோ अनदर अनदर லெஜெண்ட் वी ஹவ் எமினன்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர் டாக்டர் உமாராணி ஆல்சோ ஷீ இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெயிட்டிங் and uh, in between uh, i would like to ask some of the feedback from the students students if you want any uh, question uh, actually like if you want a, a test for uh, gpat a model test that also we can conduct uh, for that uh, we will post the questions you have to answer and you have to send back to the groups so if possible that also you can uh, give the feedback also if you want a live question also that also we can arrange uh, one separate classes also if you want any uh, specific uh, pdf for any of the topic that also we can do it these are the things we are doing and this gpat uh, classes we are doing it uh, full of uh, pdf class only so you can ask all your friends to join uh, because they also get benefit out of this also we have lot of other activities also for that i request each and every one Uh, to join as a member either for uh, pi mmc pi mmc especially for uh, madurai medical college students if you are a madurai medical college student or if you are a alumni of madurai medical college you can join uh, in uh, pi mmc otherwise if you are from other colleges uh, any uh, any of uh, tamil nadu you can join in uh, ipga tamil nadu chapter also because uh, Uh, we have a continuous uh, activities and lot of uh, knowledge uh, sharing programs so you can get benefit out of all the programs so with this uh, i am uh, requesting our uh, another uh, great legend speaker dr g umarani uh, cs from uh, madurai medical college she working as a associate professor madurai actually she did her b form in the year 87 to 91 from madura medical college again uh, she had an opportunity to complete her uh, m pharmacy from madura medical college in the year 97 and she did uh, phd from uh, dr mgr university and uh, she has uh, more than 20 years of great teaching experience and uh, apart from teaching uh, she has other experience like uh, she has uh, one year uh, manufacturing experience and uh, drug testing Uh, she worked for almost 7 years uh, uh, apart from that uh, again uh, she started her uh, teaching from uh, ultra college of pharmacy madurai and uh, from there uh, she joined madurai medical college she ha- now she is currently working as a associate professor in madurai medical college uh, she has presented lot of uh, papers uh, in national and international level and she conducted lot of seminars and even uh, in our pa uh, association i uh, see uh, gave a lecture uh, and webinar uh, for us almost uh, four to five months back it was wonderful uh, many of the students and uh, our uh, faculty members they appreciated so uh, today also she is going to take uh, uh, excellent topic especially for the seminar on naming reactions so it is uh, one of the unique topic hope all the students uh, you all get benefit out of this Uh, since her uh, expertise definitely you will get lots of uh, clues and uh, idea to get more uh, scores especially for gpat even now if you start preparing definitely you can succeed in gpat your success is our success always we are waiting for your success so with this uh, small introduction i request dr g umarani to present today's topic welcome thank madam thank you thank you sidhi pandian sir good morning to all good morning to all for my alumni members and ipg members thanks to all to give a chance to give a seminar on naming reaction for gpat preparations uh, now we go to the seminar now i give a small introduction about the gpat exam you must understand the importance of the gpat exam then only you will attend the classes regularly what are the importance Oh, how to attend the class how to choose the question each and every day um, introduction graduate pharmacy aptitude test is the gpat it is a national level entrance examination for entry into a program 
Till 2018, it was conducted by All India Council for Technical Education, AICT, every year as per the direction of Ministry of Education, Government of India. The test will now conducted by NADA, that is National Testing Agency, as like the NEET exam conductors. Importance of GPAD. MPharm is one of the most important degree to get higher pharmaceutical industry. GPAD qualified candidate to advantage to this scholarship over MPharm admission chances to placement in best companies of the worldwide. GPAD qualifiers are also eligible for NIPER, JEE. GPAD qualified candidates are also eligible for various government fellowship. GPAD qualified candidates are eligible for admission in PhD at various industry in India and all over the world. Scholarship. The two major kind of GPAD scholarship, ACT, PG scholarship, and Charles Junior Research, that is JRF for GATE slash GPAD qualified candidates. This scholarship can be obtained during post-graduation and also at a research fellowship on the basis of the valid GPAD score. The scholarship is also provided to candidates studying in ME and MTech courses through the score. Candidate Looking into avail this scholarship should meet eligibility criteria as specified by AECT. First, they must have a valid GPAD score and study in the first year of M Pharma. However, such course must be, must be a full time course and should not be a part time score. This scheme would be applicable for GPAD qualified candidates studying in AECT approved institutions. Sponsored candidates are not eligible for this scholarship. Similarly, candidates who are obtaining any other scholarship or financial assistance for central or state government are not eligible for the scholarship. Benefits of taking GPAD exam are as follows. Yes, national exam, GPAD or graduate pharmacy, are very, very important for the prestigious institute like NIPER, IIT, BHU, Bohr, Jadavpur University. GPAD is very, very, score is very, very important for the entry. You know, um, for the last 10 years, The pharmacy college for a degree and a diploma is increased 50% 50, 50 or 70% more than that, uh, uh, previous 10 years or 20 years. So in order to compute with the PG program, if you got the um, if you get the GPAD score, you will easily enter into the PG or PhD program or any other industry. GPAD score is very, 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 very prestigious for the students of pharmacy in the competitive world. Introduction for that, uh, how the question papers. Four marks are submitted for every correct response and one mark detected for each wrong response. Type of question, fast to the chemistry, 38 question into four. Each question carried four marks, then 152. For pharmaceutics, 38 question into four, 152. Pharmacognosy, 10 into four, 40. Pharmacology, 28 into four, 112. And other subject, other subject like microbiology, biochemistry, then jurisprudence, other subjects is that have 11 posting, 44 marks, totally 135. For qualification, that the qualified marks for the, the recent of 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, you are uh, under served. Then EWS, it's economically weaker sex, OBC, SC, ST, PH, physically challenged. Up to um, 2020, there is no EWS. After 2020 only, that day, economically weaker sex at that uh, quota. Then uh, physically challenged quota for 2018, we are having. After 2019, they will be eligible, they will comply that uh, quota. You are EWS, OBC, SCST. Then only they will be uh, eligible for the entry into MFM or other programs. The after 2018, there is no separate uh, cutoff for the physically challenged people. The cutoff is um, for all category merit not increased. The cutoff mark is increased. Task to know. Preview all the 25 questions quickly. Mark the number of questions that you will answer easily in paper provided to you 
go to the model question you can readily answer and select proper answer don't try to answer all question because there is a negative marking of each wrong answer because 40 to 50 correct answer is enough to qualify out of 125 questions then i'll discuss about that naming reaction and the question asked about the last four years of the gpi if you study the naming reactions you will get at least four marks so completely cover the naming reaction you will get a mark in g5 okay we will see the reaction one by one the naming reaction barrier villager reagent barrier villager reagent re rearrangement is an example of the migration of the group from carbon to electron deficient axon the barrier villager rearrangement is the conversion of the ketone to an ester via the extraction of the oxygen atom next to the carbonyl the reaction involves initial addition of peroxide to the carbonyl carbon cyclic ketone is converted into the lactone with ring expansion here i gave the keywords note the keywords the key from the keywords you can answer the question and so the gpet question asked from the name reactions bayer villager reagent ketone to ester cyclic ketone you see that you will study the reaction that in the presence of peroxy acid or peroxide. Next one, Beckman rearrangement, well known reaction. The acid catalyst conversion of ketone to N substituted amide is known as the Beckman rearrangement. The reaction is catalyzed by acidic reagents such as sulfuric acid, SOCl2, P2O5, ECL5, then CCSH5, SO2Cl. The reaction involves migration of glue from carbon to nitrogen. The previous reaction, carbon to oxygen, here carbon to nitrogen. Note the key words. Cyclic oxygen to calaxin, chylo means yield lactam. Beckman reagent reagent, cyclohexanol, then cyclohexano amines, caprolactone. That question asked from this two reaction which of the following rearrangement involves migration of a group from carbon to electron deficient nitrogen? Here, electron deficient oxygen is the Bayer Veliger reagent, this one is the Beckman reagent. Asked in GPERD 2020. Then pinacol, pinacolant reaction. Pinacol, pinacolant rearrangement is the method for converting a 1 to diol to a carbonyl ketone compound in organic chemistry. The 1 to rearrangement takes place under the acidic condition. The name of the rearrangement reaction comes from the rearrangement of pinacol to pinacolant. See the reaction. Aldol condensation, well known reaction. Aldol condensation is a condensation reaction in organic chemistry in which an enol or a enolate ion react with the carbonyl compound to form a, a beta hydroxyaldehyde or beta hydroxy ketone on an aldol reaction followed by dehydration to give a conjugated enol. Aldol condensation are important in organic synthesis and biochemistry as ways to form carbon carbon bond. Aldol condensation reaction. Placian condensation. Placian condensation is a carbon carbon bond forming a reaction that occurs between two esters or one ester and another carbonyl compound in the presence of a strong base, resulting in beta keto ester or a beta diketone. At least one of the reagents must be unilizable, have a proton, alpha proton, and be able to undergo deprotonation to form a unilate anion. There are a number of different combinations of unilizable or non unilizable carbonyl compound that form a few different types of glycine. See the glycine reaction. friedel craft acylation, a very well known reaction. The friedel craft acylation is the reaction of the array with acyl chloride or anhydrides using a strong Lewis acid catalyst. This reaction proceeds via electrophilic aromatic substitution to form monoacylated product. Friedel craft alkylation reaction. Alkyl group can be added to a benzene molecule via electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction called the Friedel craft alkylation reaction. One of the examples is the addition of methyl group to a benzene ring. Rheumatheimann reaction. Rheumatheimann reaction is a chemical reaction used for the ortho formaldehyde of phenol with the simplest example being the conversion of phenol to salicylaldehyde. Rheumatheimann reaction is effective for other hydroxy aromatic compounds. Rheumatheimann reaction can be altered to yield phenolic acid by substituting the chloroform with the carbon tetrachloride. For instance, the altered reaction with phenol would yield salicylic acid rather than the expected product of salicylic acid. 
See the reaction. Cancer reaction. Cancer reaction is there. Chemical reaction which involves the basic induced diprotonation of two molecules of non indolizable aldehyde to give a primary alcohol and carboxylic acid. One molecule of aldehyde reduced to the corresponding alcohol, while second one oxidized to the carboxylic acid. The oxidation product of salt of carboxylic acid and the reduction product is an alcohol. See the cancer reaction. Crust cancer reaction. If an aldehyde without any alpha hydrogen is made to react with formaldehyde in presence of base to give acid and alcohol, it is called cross cancer reaction. Evangel reaction condensation is a dipolic addition of an active hydrogen compound to a carbonyl compound followed by the dehydration reaction in which molecule of water is eliminated. Hence, condensation. Students note the keywords. From the keyword only in the question. From G per day. Come. The product is of an alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone, a conjugated ketone. Clemenson reduction. Clemenson reduction is a chemical reaction described as a reduction of ketones or aldehyde to alkane using zinc amalgam and concentrated hydrochloric acid. Kutis reaction, rearrangement. A Kutis reaction, a Kutis degradation is the thermal decomposition of the acyl acide to an isocyanate. Note the keyword. That is one question from Gbird. Um, last 2020, I think. See the question below. With the loss of nitrogen gas. Kutis rearrangement. Loss and rearrangement. Loss and rearrangement is conversion of the hydroxylate ester to isocyanate. O oxyl sulfonyl or phosphoryl O derivative are applied. The isocyanate can be used further to generate urea in presence of amine or generate amine in the presence of water. Last cheaper 2014, in which rearrangement reaction isocyanate is formed? Both Kutis and Lausanne reaction. See the reaction. Isocyanate, both the keyword. L sort of reaction. L sort of a very, very well known reaction to form the cyclic compound from dienophile and diene. The diene sort of reaction is a chemical reaction between the conjugated diene and a substituted alkene, commonly termed as dienophile, to form a substituted cyclohexane derivative. It is the prototype, a typical example of pericyclic reaction with a concentrated, concentrated mechanism because that all the reactions. Uh, and the product will be take place in the at a type. It will that is the meaning of concentrated mechanism. As such, the dual cyclic reaction is governed by artificial orbitals, symmetry concentration. It is classified as pi 4s plus pi 2 pi cycloaddition. The L sort of reaction. It is a very well known reaction. It is very much used for the research field in the project to form a cyclic compounds. New and new cyclic compounds. Which of the following dienes can order of the sort of reaction most readily? It is conjugated diene, the A is the first one. Hope rearrangement. Hope rearrangement is an extensively studied organic reaction that three, three sigma tropics rearrangement of one involving phi diene. For example, three methyl hexa one phi diene heated to 300 degree is kepta one phi diene. The question asked 2018. In which of the following is a 3 3 sigmotropic reaction which converts 1 5 diene to be isomeric 1 5 diene? Hope re rearrangement, glacial rearrangement, photochemical 2 plus 2 reaction, dial sort of reaction. Torsen reaction, the Torsen reaction, also known as Torsen's condensation or glycosidic ester condensation is the chemical reaction of a ketone or aldehyde with the alpha halo ester in the presence of the base to form an alpha beta epoxy ester, also called a glycosidic ester. The primary role of the ester is to enable the initial deprotonation to occur. If the starting material is an alpha halo amide, the product is an alpha beta epoxy amide. If an alpha halo ketone is used, the product is an alpha beta epoxy ketone. Torsen's reaction. One question asked in 2019. Reaction of alpha halo ester with an 
aldehyde or ketone in the presence of the base like any in which to give alpha beta epoxy carboxylic acid the reaction is referred as from larsen reaction two questions last year they asked on epoxy rings can be prepared by dcc oxidation of alcohol darsen's glycosidic ester synthesis then swan reaction lowest reaction that is the darsen's reaction manis reaction manis reaction is the orient reaction which consists of a amino alkylization of an acidic proton is next to carbonyl functional group by formaldehyde and a primary or secondary amine or ammonia the final product is a beta amino carbonyl compound also known as manis base reaction between aldehydes and alpha methylic carbonyls are also considered manis reaction because these remains from between amines and aldehyde manis reaction is an example of nucleophilic addition of an amine to a carbonyl group followed by dehydration of the six base manis reaction we will explain previous year question the condensation of the active methylene compound with formaldehyde and an amino to form beta amino carbonyl compound is known as manis reaction that the stoke reaction beckman reaction involved in condensation that is manis reaction full kishner reduction the full kishner reduction is the reaction used to convert carbonyl functionalities into methylene group in organic chemistry deprotonation of the hydrazone by an alkali alkoxide base to form dimide anion by a carbonyl solvent mediated protonation deprotonation step in the rate deciding step of the reaction full kishner on question asked 2019 identify the name reaction name the reaction see the reactions put is rearrangement full kishner clamson wolf rearrangement that is the answer in kishner previous question product of the following it is also come under the full kishner reaction found found modification is so the name of the china china scientist to the how modification the modification is the one part shortcut for the wolf kishner reduction a reaction in which ketone and aldehyde carbonyls are converted to the corresponding methylene or methyl via the hydrazone derivative among the non procedure calls for the first heating the carbonyl compound sodium or potassium hydroxide and hydrox hydrazine hydrate Eighty-three percent of the hydrazine together in ethylene glycol for one to two hours to form a hydrazone before removing the reflux condenser and allowing the water and excess hydrazine to flow along. The advantage is production of pure product with high yield. See the how modification reaction. Stoke reaction condensation is the modification specific for the diethyl ester of succinic acid requiring less strong base. An example is its reaction with benzophenone. A reaction mechanism that explains the formation of both an ester group and a carboxylic acid group is uh, centered on a lactone intermediate. The stoke condensation was used in the first step of Reinhard Sage's synthesis of amylin, and it can be also used in the synthesis of dimada. See the reaction. Robinson annihilation. It is very useful for the synthesis of steroids. The Robinson annihilation is a chemical reaction for ring formation. It was discovered by Robert Robinson, a method to create a six-membered ring by forming three new carbon-carbon bonds. The method uses a ketone and a methyl vinyl ketone to form an alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone in a cyclohexane ring by a chemical addition followed by aldol condensation. The procedure is one of the key method to form fused ring system. Robinson annihilation formation of cyclohexanone derivatives are important in chemistry for their application to the synthesis of many natural product and other interesting organic compounds such as antibiotic and steroids specifically the synthesis of cortisone is completed through the use of the robinson annihilation injured rearrangement reaction is the organic reaction converting an aryl alkyl ketone alkyl alkyl to the corresponding amide by reaction with ammonium polysulfide the formation of the corresponding carboxylic acid is a side reaction when an alkyl group is aliphatic chain in typically 0 to 5 multiple reaction takes place with the amide group always ending up at the terminal end 
All a simple one. You know the what is slacker lime, what is soda ash, soda lime, washing soda, packing soda. First one, rosin salt, sodium potassium tartrate, akin solution, sodium hypochlorite, lava salt, sodium sulfate, Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, china clay, heavy kaolite, simsol calcium sulfate, calamal, mercurous chloride. So clay, betonite, French chalk, talc, alum, potassium, aluminium sulfate, hypo sodium thiosulfate, precipitated chalk, calcium carbonate, slacker lime, calcium hydroxide, bleaching powder, chlorinated lime, barose yeah, solution, aluminium acetate solution, laughing gas, nitrous oxide, tear gas, chloro, benzylidine, melononitrile, iodine tincture, decoidine solution. Aqua drops, chloral hydrate, washing soda, sodium carbonate, packing soda, sodium bicarbonate, caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, glucol solution, of course, iodine solution. From the tablet column, two questions asked in the previous paper. Soda, also known as limestone, sodium carbonate, pure silica, calcium carbonate. Soda as is sodium carbonate. Then, Burroughs solution is calcium hydroxide solution, ammonium acetate solution, calcium phosphate solution. Aluminium acetate solution. That is aluminium acetate solution. So go through the tables, you will attend at least one question. Then uh, Jeepa, they will ask from the name of the synonym, name of the compound with synonym. From the, the important questions, important naming reaction, um, you will attend, definitely attend one question in the Jeepa exam. In the beginning of the seminar itself, Sini uh, Padil told the dates for the GPAD for 2022. Go through the dates. You can see the dates. Here I gave the link for uh, my entire 20 years GPAD postings, each and everything. I'm uh, copy the link and search the postings with the answers. If any doubt, we'll ask. Uh, we'll, as per Jaykumar, I told we'll conduct the examination in the chemistry field. You will study the uh, pharmacology and pharmacology uh, thoroughly. You will get, uh, you will attend the uh, in 10 questions and uh, 28 questions from pharmacology and 10 questions from pharmacology. Chemistry is a void, uh, have a void scholars. Organic chemistry in the first semester, we are studying the pharmaceutical analysis, inorganic chemistry, second sem, biochemistry, OC1, third sem, OC2, then OC3. Medicinal chemistry, medicinal chemistry one, two, three, then analysis. So, we um, uh, study the um, um, important, um, you will prepare according to the question asked in the previous GPAD question. If you any doubt, you will ask, you will call, um, we will contact you and guide you to attend the entire chemistry class. Okay. Um, this, um, uh, this is not a time to study chemistry. So, we uh, will finish up uh, this time. If you have any doubt, ask me. Okay. All the best for the students. GPAD is a very, 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 very prestigious goal to enter into higher studies for any job, to, if, to get an industry uh, like uh, Rampaxi, Glasgow, Kedila. Okay, all the best. Prepare for the GPAD, not from the final year. We'll start from first year itself. 
from first to four final syllabus only you will um, syllabus is framed as per the act only the national testing agency conducting the exam the syllabus is already given by the act go through the syllabus the go through the questions and uh, prepare from the first year itself it is easy to attend easy to enter because uh, uh, there are so many colleges are in the, um, all over nationwide so many colleges for a uh, b form d form they started like in the competitive world if you go through the g part you will your future will be bright okay all the best students thank you thank, thank you. you for all the pharma alumni members and ipg member thank you to thank squad to give chance to give a seminar to my students i love uh, always my uh, teaching i am ready any time i am ready to teach my students okay all the best students thank you so much thank you doctor thank you very much ma'am inakshi from ipj thank you very much madam seeing you further thanks ma'am thanks a lot ma'am uh, thank you, thank you dr roma rani madam for your excellent and elucid talk and uh, clear cut information especially to score better in the examination you have given lot of uh, reference for the previous years uh, questions and you given the answer also how to answer for that also it's really very impressive uh, even it's a very easy way to understand and even uh, definitely the students they will understand your uh, valuable points they will score better so many of the students they are going to get benefit out of uh, today's class both the class was really went well and thank you very much for your informative class also and uh, thank you ma'am and uh, today on behalf of uh, poi momsi as well as ipgatn i would like to thank uh, for both the faculties for your excellent and informative talk also uh, i thank you for the ipg as well as uh, for members as well as organizers for coordinating every week and giving the support to all the students to get benefits uh, for gpet classes so many of the faculties they are spending their valuable time on every sunday uh, it's a great valuable things uh, students has to understand uh, how much time they could spend to prepare all these questions previous years questions and lot of topics so you have to spend your uh, time on sunday you have to inform to your friends also to get benefit out of this uh, if you get success it is our happiness so even as umarani madam told any time you can ask any kind of doubts to her even uh, our jay kumar madam also has told like that only so you you can you have the number of uh, all the faculties so you can any time you can contact them or you can chat in the whatsapp we are ready to answer for all your doubts because you have another one and a half to two months time to get prepared utilize this valuable time so with this i would like to thank mr saravanan and meenakshi madam as well as mr kannan for their valuable support on each sunday they are also spending their valuable time and with this i would like to thank all the members and organizers of both the groups and if you want to continue with to get lot of other benefits out of this kindly try to get a member for both the association Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for uh, Umar Ani, madam. And thank, all you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I want thank to you. thank you the Palma alumni team. Every week they are uh, very <laughs> nicely. I am interestingly uh, asked to give the same webinar. I ask every every week you are part of it. Why why we didn't uh, participate? I think that's why. But for the students yes, also, you will attend the classes, not the final year. From the first year itself, you attend. It is very very useful. From the first year yes, itself, you can prepare. It is easy to attend. As like a boy, but normal subject. A whole class, you whole class attend the GPT exam. If you are attending the subject exam, whole class, one or two only get an area. That's why like a GPT, all will get pass. Prepare from the first year itself. That's my advice. Thank you so much for all. Thank you, Madam. Thank for your valuable uh, information. If the students start preparing from uh, right from the first year, uh, the, their success uh, nobody can uh, defeat. 
so it is going to be the clear cut success for the students if they prepare from the right from uh, first year so i request all the students uh, take this advice and spread the message to all your friends definitely everybody has to get benefit out of this so uh, we are coming out with the next week uh, topic and speaker so till the time wait and uh, keep preparing for your exam for the students sir one one more uh, information uh, if, if you prepare from the first sem itself it is easy then you will go through all the slides i will give all the information regarding gpert then the latest notification also so go through it and prepare for the exam um, it is very very important for your future in the competitive world so write the exam as your usual exam it is very very easy in our times there is no chance for this seminar seminar and all you are got a very good opportunity you are to have a lot of um, the uh, communication so it is easy to write the exam all must participate when you are eligible when that uh, gpert score is eligible for uh, three years when even from you try from second year or third year or well, if you got the score then next time you write the exam or you know, if you are not eligible you are not qualified then try it for next year you will get the experience okay in the same for from the second year third year itself also you can try try to attend the exam you will get the experience all must attend the gpat that's my advice all the best for the thank students you. thank you for giving thank chance you. to me okay Thanks a lot, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Always welcome. We are uh, expecting one more talk also from you, because uh, till March we have uh, time. So, if possible, you have to give one more uh, topic also. You have to present to the benefits of the students. Thank you. Thanks okay, a lot sir. for all. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. With pleasure, sir. I will give. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Uh, today we will conclude the session. Uh, let's uh, meet next week Sunday. Thank you. Thank, thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kannan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Kannan. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Dr. Jay Kumar. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jay Kumar, madam. Thank you. Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar. Madam, I want to tell one thing about Dr. Jay Kumar and Sini Panin, sir. One, one, two yes. seconds. Yes, sir. Um, yes, ma'am. Mark, yes. you said about his energy last year. She was talking for two hours at a stretch at uh, that was Sunday afternoon. <laughs> we were okay. really touched by her energy, sir. How she was continuously talking sir, with energy. Uh, I just wanted to add. Yeah, we really appreciate her. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 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 ma'am. Uh, so you have uh, spoken for two hours. So one hour is Dr. not enough for you. <laughs> Dr. Jay Kumari. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, correct, correct, correct. So continuously, sir. Correct. I was really impressed that you you appreciate it now. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sini Pandian sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir.